So I had gotten in conversations. This is Yusuf at John Hot Dweller. Uh, with some people on here. Uh, one was about love. One was about color, comparing them to God and the supernatural. And I said, you can't imagine somebody blind from birth uh, describing color to them would seem insane. And they said, oh, you can get consensus of people and this and that. Okay. There are people who are colorblind. Uh, there are people who are partially colorblind. And there are people who, if you've ever taken a sociology class, you know this. There are entire cultures that only have two colors. Warm and cool. They don't see blue and green. It's the same color. They were raised that way. People who are blind at birth that regain their sight at about the age of 10 can't see like you and me. You have to learn to see. You have to learn to see objects. You have to learn to see colors. We think it's automatic. It's not. It's a learned behavior. So let's imagine that half the planet is blind. Quarter is color blind, only black and white. And then you have percentages of people who see, <clears throat> you know, color blind as in, you know, maybe this. there's a, like I know people who can't, if there's two light colors beside them, they can't tell the difference. Uh, this is somebody that was being trained for frame shop of all places to help people decide what color mats they'd have on their pictures. Uh, there are societies that only see uh, warm and cool colors. There's only two colors. There are people in the Amazon that green and clear are the same color to them. And then there's people who see color, as the majority of people do right now, I'm assuming. You'd have a small fraction of people saying, look at all these beautiful colors. You'd have people saying, well, there's no such thing. You're insane. You'd have people saying, no, but there's, there's only two. There's just these black, white with some gray in the middle. There's no colors. You'd have other people saying, well, I can kind of see it. And you'd have uh, people saying, well, no, there, there are colors, but there's just two, and there's different shades of warm and cold. And then you'd have somebody like me who sees Roy G. Biv. Uh, now, getting any type of consensus on that is crazy, and you'd say, well, this is useless. Uh, I think that's the argument of God. There are people who, again, we see people who have ears to hear, people who have eyes to see um, quotes like this from Christ all the time. Uh, so there's no point arguing about God. He, he exists. Somebody says, no, he doesn't. It should be the end of the argument. Either you see or you don't. So when people say, oh, you can get consensus on color, you can scientifically test and prove to the blind person. No, you can't. It's a social construct. Is God? Let's just deal with God as a concept then. And love is a concept. Say they're not real, and we can say they're real. They truly are active forces in the world. Uh, and they become as real as this wall right here. The atheists still have a lot of work ahead of them if they're going to try to come into our souls and try to disprove things that we know. There is, is there such a thing as a priori? I mean, these, these, the, the atheist attacks still fall short, and I'll make sure to message this to those people who I've been speaking with or messaging with. Uh, but only to the ones that don't get hostile. There's a girl from Uppsala who was, I kind of had the, uh, um, kept trying to be nice to her and I kept trying to, I got the feeling that she was still kind of pissed and didn't want, <laughs> didn't want my respect and didn't respect me. But she was polite. She didn't swear. She didn't get any vulgarity, no personal attacks. I appreciate people like that. People don't have to like me. They, but if you can carry on a uh, an adult conversation, 
and not start quoting Bible verses telling people they're going to go to hell using foul language or threats. Those comments are fine on my channel. Just as long as you don't do those. Peace to you. Uh, it's raining out here in Chicago.